Hi, Tracy Noppy here with GenesisBlogging.com. This is a tutorial on TweetDeck's search feature to show you how to set up a search column so you can pull in tweets on various search parameters. Um, and the beauty about the search is that you do not need to follow all of these people to um, search for, for a variety of different things. For example, you'll notice here that I have a search column set up for TweetDeck. I am not following all these people. Um, I like to help people who have issues or questions about TweetDeck, and so I set up a column, and the only search parameter in there that I put was TweetDeck. So any tweets that have the words TweetDeck in it will filter into this particular column. And I use the search function and search columns for a variety of different things and use those actually more often than I use the groups feature uh, with TweetDeck because I don't have to follow all the people. I don't have to pull my, you know, existing people in, you know, but I, I really like the search feature a lot in TweetDeck. So let me show you how that works. Um, you can use an and or an or in your search phrase. Say you want to have more than one word. Say you want to use, you know, two words. You can have, it has to have this word and this word, or you want this word or this word, or you can put something in quotes. For example, say you have a phrase that you want. Um, Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. I have four of those dogs in uh, myself. So I'm going to put that in quotes because it's four words, but it's, you know, one thing that would go together. So I'm going to put that together in quotes and see what I pull up. And see, there we go. Um, every tweet that has the phrase Cavalier King Charles Spaniel is going to pull into this particular thing. And I can find people who have dogs the same breed as mine. And um, I can find and follow people that way, keep up with other, you know, Cavalier lovers on the web. And you can do the same thing um, for any topic of interest that you have. It's a good way to, um, if you're in a particular niche, if you're an internet marketer or an affiliate marketer or you're in a particular line of work or business or whatever, to put in whatever your business niche is. Um, to put that phrase in a search column in TweetDeck and pull that in and it will pull in if anybody's discussing that it will pull that into a column and you can kind of monitor um, the traffic and tweet activity um, in your particular niche so it works out really well um, you don't necessarily need to do that for your name so much if it's an at reply to you but if it is your name not in an at reply, just your name spelt out, not with the at sign in front of it, like your Twitter username, then you would need to do a search column if you're doing like a vanity type search and you're kind of monitoring, um, you know, tweets or something about you. If you're that type of person that, you know, you're doing a customer service, say, you're, you know, you're a branding yourself as a business or something and you're needing to monitor customer service or if you're like a community manager or a customer service representative for a company um, you can put in your company's product or their name or something like that in a search column for um, in, in TweetDeck and monitor that activity so you can keep up um, with what people are saying about your business so you can stay on top of your customer service and um, anyway that's that's in a nutshell, how you use the search function on TweetDeck. Very, very simple. So hope that helped you. And anyway, we'll speak soon.